Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Ryan. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are absolutely fantastic. Let me show you this MX10 Pro 6K TV box. Link down below so you guys can check it out the price. It's not too expensive. And beforehand, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please click that subscribe button. Consider subscribing. Thank you very much for your support, guys. All right, MX10 Pro 6K TV box. Let's remove it out of these plastic things. Wow, looks good, looks really good. Let's put it to the side for now. Let's have a look what else we have in this box. After this unboxing, we're gonna perform a few tests. I mean, a lot of tests to this TV box. Stay tuned to the end of the video. So here we have the power adapter, HDMI cable, a small user manual and a remote control which like always it won't be the best to operate the tv box i do recommend you buying one of those bluetooth keyboards with an usb adapter not just for this tv box but for all tv boxes and that's it guys that's all you get in the box let's now have a look at the tv box itself the mx10 pro 6k shiny cubes on top on the side of the tv box there's nothing here on this side there's a SD card reader, three USBs being one of them 3.0. On the other side there's one more USB, one SPDIF port, one AV out port, the HDMI, Ethernet and power plug port and some ventilation as well. Pretty comprehensive I.O. for this TV box. On the other two sides there's nothing completely blank and at the bottom some ventilation and some rubber feet. And enough of this, let's plug the box into the TV, let's do some tests, let's see what this box is all about and I'll go through the specs with you, so stay tuned, let's go guys! Alright guys, MX10 Pro 6K, quick animation soon as you turn on the box, let's have a look at the main menu. As you can see, we have big tiles there already pre-installed YouTube, Google Play Browser, my apps. Here you have date and time to mirror your phone, video settings, and at the bottom some shortcuts that you can personalize. You can add your own or remove the ones you don't want. If you look at the about of the TV box, you can see the device name of the TV box, MX10 Pro, and the version, the Android version, 9. Android Pie and the last security patch was from February 2019, so this year. In terms of storage, you can get this TV box in two versions, 32 and 64 gigs, mine is a 64 and you'll be left to play with 56 gigs, so plenty of storage here. Check the links down below, check the price for both options. If you click my apps on the home screen, you'll be able to see which apps are already pre-installed in this TV box. Okay guys, let's start our series of tests, but first if you click that broom button top right corner, it will clear any apps on the background. At the moment the box is straight from the factory, in the moment we'll install everything we need to perform all the tests and we'll go through all the specs in detail of this TV box. Okay, starting with YouTube, the pre-installed version from the factory, let's start with the 4K video straight away. Yeah, the box picked 4K by default, I haven't touched it yet, let's put the stats for nerds on the screen. Yeah, 30 FPS, 3840 by 2160 4K resolution. So yeah, it's playing very well. Moving on to another video, same 4K 30 FPS resolution. Let's Move the video forward in real time so you guys can have an idea how the box copes with the speed. So guys, so far so good. YouTube behaves very well. This is the standard YouTube version pre-installed on the TV box. Let's now pick a 60 FPS YouTube video. and the box just stopped, stopped playing. So in this video, the box is struggling a bit to play the content. I believe because this is a 60 FPS 4K video. 
so the box is trying to show it but nothing yeah it just struggle a bit okay let's try another one okay so this is a 4k 60 and yet again it does stop so 4k 60 fps on this youtube platform is not going to happen otherwise all good next test let's try netflix this was pre-installed in the tv box okay so in this version of the netflix the remote doesn't work because i don't believe this box is certified for netflix so you need to use some kind of uh, external mouse like I'm doing here so let's pick one title yeah I can tell the resolution is standard definition only no HD here it does play without any issues but no HD resolution 13, 14, so on the top 15, right of the screen you can see the resolution 18. If it doesn't go any higher than this, means that's the maximum that we can go with this app. Okay, now on Amazon Prime, let's have a look at the video plays. Yeah, it does work, but the resolution is very, very low, in my honest opinion. It's a low standard definition, maybe for ATP something like that okay so moving on with the tests i already installed everything or almost everything we need to run some proper tests on this tv box before that guys i think it worth mention that there is not notification bars on this tv box not on top or bottom left or right so if you want to switch um, between apps i don't know how to do it honestly the only thing that we can do is click that broom button to delete all the apps on the background so first test we're gonna do is the speed test at the moment we are using the ethernet connection so the box is using a cable to connect to the internet not wi-fi and we're getting 86 megabits per second out of 200 in this place and the upload around 20 megabits which is exactly the um, the speed i've got here if we use the wi-fi connection this box only supports 2.4 gigahertz and we get around 90 megabits which is quite good for for wi-fi connectivity and the upload it's around the same 20 megabits so in my opinion i think these are very good results okay before the games and some more videos let's uh, test the nerdy part of the tv box let's have a look at the specs starting with the drm info where we can see this box supports hdr actually it supports hdr plus and here on the wide vine you can see the security level is l3 so it's not google l1 certified means no hd netflix or amazon in this case here on ID64 we can see a few more specs like the total amount of ram 4 gigs uh, using ddr3 in this tv box and the total internal storage Regarding the CPU, this all-winner H6 is running for ARM Cortex-A53 at 1.5 MHz each, so it's a quad-core, 64 bits. For the graphics, this TV box is running a GPU Mali T720 and the OpenGL version is the 3.1. On the network tab, we can see 5 GHz Wi-Fi is not supported. On the Android tab, we can see the device is rooted and is running Android version 9. And in terms of temperature, at the time I was recording the video, the GPU and the CPU were around 73 to 74 degrees Celsius. If you guys are interested, there's a list of codecs in the TV box. Pause if you want to have a quick look. 
One cool feature of the TV box is the phone mirroring, so you can use it with your iPhone or Android. For the iPhone, if you use the Air Pin, just need to go there on the phone, you'll see ATV70. Just click there, very simple, and you'll see your phone on the screen of your TV. Not too much lag, to be honest with you. I think it works pretty well, especially on the iOS. As you can see here, the background is the TV and there is almost no lag at all. Let me show you, let's try to pick a video to see how the video copes. Yeah, it works, it works pretty well. On the Android, you will need to use the Mirror Cast app instead. Let's have a look at my tablet here. So you need to select that device, my box, waiting for connection. You need to wait a little bit longer. And there you go. You got the screen mirrored on your big TV. A bit, a bit more lag than the iOS, but not too bad. Okay, guys, let's do another test. I know that some of you like to use a different launcher on these TV boxes. So I was able to download the Nova Nova launcher. Let's have a look at that. And yeah, yeah, you can use it as you can see here. Nova launcher. I'm sure there's more launchers that you can download from the Google Play Store. And moving on to something a bit more fun, let's play some games. Let's start with this Beach Buggy Racing, which plays very, very well. No lags, no stops. Although, guys, a quick note, you cannot use the standard remote, the remote that comes with this box, to control the game. I wasn't able to play with that remote, I asked to use an external one. As you can see here, the game plays flawlessly. Very, very good. I wasn't able to download PUBG Mobile from the Google App Store, so we cannot test it. Instead, we're gonna test this Asphalt 8, which is quite a heavy game. This is like the tutorial part, but you can get an idea. This is an heavy game, this Asphalt 8, but the TV box coped very well with it. You can see that I'm downloading the actual game. But yeah, it is. you can have some fun with this. Um, I just hope you guys have better skills than me. Um, moving on. Another one. No drama here, so we can play these games very well. And moving on to the last test in the video, let's play some files from an external hard drive, in this case a USB stick. Using the Kodi player supplied in the TV box, it's not the Kodi player, but it's basically the same thing. So let's start with these files, HDR, HEVC 10-bit, remember guys, according to the manufacturer, this box supports 3D, H.265, H.264 and VP9 codec files. In addition, it supports 5.1 surround sound output. So the first one we're testing here, so far so good, no dramas here, let's test to another one. This one is a 4K, 24fps uh, MKV file. No issues whatsoever. This one is a 4K, 30fps H.264 MP4 file. Moving on to a 1080p, no issues whatsoever here, as you guys can see. Yeah, so moving on, this is a MOV file. This one is a bit more tricky, a 60 FPS file, codec H65, and it's an MP4 file. Looks like there's a bit of stuttering. Let's try to find another scene with a bit more movement. Yeah, it's playing okay. Not probably as fluid as we would like to, but yeah, it is what it is. Okay, so now this is a 4K clip, 60 FPS, 70 megabits per second MP4 file. And the box, I must say, does struggle a bit. The sound is not synchronized as well with the image. So this is not the best. And to finalize this test, uh, H.265 file, 720p in this case, plays without any issues at all. 
And guys, on that note, let's wrap this video. It's a long one. Thank you very much if you made this far. I'll leave a link down below in the video description so you guys can check it out the current price of this TV box. If you found the video helpful, if you enjoy it, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I must thank you very much for that. Like always, guys, thank you for watching and I hope I can see you all in the next one. Thank you.